You must have heard that this anti-malware follows the heuristic analysis method. In this video, you will know what the heuristic analysis method is and how does it work. We will also discuss if it is effective or not. So before we start, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. What is heuristic analysis? Heuristic analysis is a method of detecting malware by analyzing the code of suspicious programs. To understand it better, first let's understand why we need it. Earlier, the antivirus applications follow the signature-based detection method. In this method, antiviruses match the signatures of files with the virus signature database. If the signature matches, then that file is flagged as a virus. Whenever a new virus is found, its signature is updated in the database and then makes it available for all other antiviruses. That's why it is necessary to update the database of your antivirus. The problem with the signature-based detection method is it is a slow process. Security professionals manually analyse the viruses and then update their signature in the database. This process takes much time. Also, the number of new viruses was less in the early days of computers. However, nowadays, with the rise of the internet, we see thousands of malware every day. It becomes almost impossible to catch all these threats with only signature-based detection. Antivirus should not just rely on the virus database. It should catch the threats on its own. That's when the need of the heuristic method rises. Let's see how this method works. How does heuristic analysis work? There are two methods of heuristic analysis that antivirus could employ. The first one is static heuristic analysis, and the second method is a dynamic heuristic analysis. In the static heuristic method, antiviruses decompile the program and test its sort code. The source code is matched with the code of already known viruses, which is in the heuristic database. If a predefined part of the source code matches with the heuristic database, the program is considered as a threat. In the dynamic heuristic method, the antivirus isolates the suspicious program and let it run in a controlled environment. It is called as virtual machine or sandbox. The suspected program runs in the virtual machine, considering it as a real computer. Meanwhile, antivirus carefully observes its actions. If its behaviour seems suspicious, such as deleting files, replicating itself, then it is flagged as a virus. Antivirus uses both static and dynamic heuristic methods to catch these threats efficiently. However, there are times when it fails. The problem with heuristic analysis. The heuristic analysis gives the ability to catch the new threats without relying on the manual updation of the signature database. However, it is not always correct. There are some situations where heuristic analysis may detect a false positive or couldn't identify a threat. The static heuristic analysis matches a part of source code with the code of the virus. What if not a virus program contains a code that matches with a virus? That good program will falsely be identified as a virus. That's why it needs to be carefully tuned. Similarly, the dynamic heuristic analysis may fail if the particular program is set not to take action immediately. The antivirus checks the malicious behaviour in the virtual environment and the virus doesn't take any action at that time. Then it will be declared as a good program. How heuristic analysis works efficiently then? To make the anti-malware fully efficient, it should use all these methods in better coordination. Signatures-based detection, static and dynamic heuristic-based detection None of these methods are foolproof. They have some errors. A best anti-malware should be that which could minimise these errors and uses them in perfect tuning. 
the security professionals carefully test and set the tuning. Malwarefox, anti-malware, works on the coordination of these three methods. That's why it is aggressive in catching threats with less false positive. That's all for the holistic analysis. Like the video and subscribe the channel. We will back with a new topic very soon. So press the bell to get a notification.